night. Todd, get the kids safe. Inside the tornado that ripped through Lennox Head, destroying homes. Carnage in the English countryside. A taxi driver kills 12 people. A Sunshine Coast mother who shot dead her husband walks free. And Anna Bly rules out a referendum on daylight saving. This is 7 News with Rod Young and Kay McGrath. Good evening. A powerful storm has destroyed 12 homes and damaged 30 others in the northern New South Wales town of Lennox Head. Two people were injured when a water spout crossed the coast and developed into a tornado at around 7.30 this morning. Sharon Gadella joins us now live from Lennox Head. Sharon, it all happened very suddenly. Yes, right. It was an act of Mother Nature which was over in minutes, but locals say the ferocity of it was a sight to behold. Cyclonic winds of more than 150 kilometres an hour devastated this local community. Residents took cover in their homes in the local caravan park, but no one was safe. It was a miracle that people weren't seriously injured or killed. 7 News reporter Carly Waters has more. They usually stay out to sea, not this time. The water spout carved a path onto land while many people were still in bed. Oh my God, that's a big hurricane coming over the top, Todd. It turned into a twister and smashed Lennox's head with incredible force. Todd, get the safe. Locals couldn't believe what they were seeing. Debris from damage town. Tin and timber could be seen flying. Checking the destruction. It was enormous and unstable. So many. I just went beside us. We're just on the side. From residents still in shock. It's just absolute and utter devastation. It was debris just going so high in the sky. It was intense. I've never seen anything like it. Locals say the noise was terrifying. It actually sounded like a plane was coming in and going to crash or something. That was the noise it was sort of making. It. Homes were ripped apart, exposing kitchens and lounge rooms along the main beachfront street and change direction once into another road before badly damaging the caravan park. Kylie Strom and her husband have worked here for four their homes are wreck. That's the next door neighbour's top floor has blown um, onto our garage um, and all in the garden so all our windows are gone. Alan Farber is holidaying here. He was thinking about sleeping in an upstairs bedroom. It's somewhere in his neighbour's backyard. Well, this is the bedroom we're coming out of. There's French windows here. I uh, walk out onto the balcony. The balcony went all around. Dozens of houses have been damaged. And lots of friends offering lots of places to sleep, but they're going to have to get sorted out with another home. And... The caravan park was the worst hit. Vans had little resistance to the howling wind. Already there are reports of looters. All this damage, all this mess was caused in just a few minutes. When you look around, it's amazing no one was killed. Two people were taken to hospital. Somehow they only suffered minor injuries. As the cleanup began, other water spouts threatened to cross the coast throughout the day. Luckily, none did. 2,000 homes lost power. Emergency services set up a one kilometre exclusion zone around the town centre. The bowling club became an evacuation centre. It'll be a community spirit that pulls locals through. Oh, it's going to take a while, I think. I think it's just the neighbours around here all look after each other. And... Nearby Ballina is on standby to look after victims too. In Lennox Head, Cully Waters, 7 News. Now this afternoon Lennox Head was officially declared a disaster zone. With me now is Barbara Oxland who actually watched the twister come in from her home this morning. Barbara, what were you thinking as you watched? I was in absolute shock. It was the last thing I expected. I'd been listening to thunder and lightning, pretty bad thunder and lightning since 4.30 in the morning. And then it got to about 7 o'clock and I just thought, 
what's going on here and the rain started coming in sideways, very, very loud noises, um, hail came down and it was the last thing I expected. So yeah, I was absolutely shocked. A terrifying experience for you? It was a little bit terrifying started to see the plants in my garden go sideways and hear some very loud noises like I said and I just didn't know what to expect because I'd never seen anything like it before. I've been here about 10 years and um, I just assumed it was another bad storm but then it definitely got worse. And are you amazed at the damage? I mean you've obviously surveyed the town. Are you amazed that no one was killed in all this destruction? I'm absolutely floored that nobody was seriously killed, uh, killed or hurt. Yeah definitely. I mean shards of glass, asbestos everywhere. I would have expected it, definitely, yeah. All right, Barbara, thanks for your time tonight. Very welcome. Thank you. And now to explain how this destructive storm started, here's John. That's good evening. There's no doubt what this was, and that's a full-on tornado, but we'll go back 12 hours or so before that and look at the build-up. Now, late yesterday, a weak east coast low of southeast Queensland started to move south. East coast lows occur on average several times a year. They're more common in autumn and winter, happening mostly in June. Now, this system combined with the surface trough as it moved south to form unstable conditions into northern New South Wales. Then, early this morning, several storm cells started to form around Lennox Head. One of them became a rotating supercell over the ocean. That's forming a water spout, which is like a tornado, only much smaller, much less intense. Usually winds less than 90 k's, in fact. But the water spout then moved across the coast, intensifying as it encountered more instability. And uh, that was when the damage was done as the tornado formed. So while storms at this time of the year aren't too unusual, it's the intensity and destruction that certainly was. And I'll be back a little later with the rest of tonight's weather, Sharon. Thanks, John. And of course, so the clean-up here will continue throughout the night and I'll be back later in the bulletin to tell you how locals are coping. Thanks for now. Sharon Gadella at Lennox Head.